Welcome back to the Gary Cantrell Podcast. If you're hearing this on the day it comes out, it's Thursday. And I'm going back to Las Vegas. That's right. And by the way, I still haven't committed. I'm still not calling it yet if Thursday is the new day. I'm going to mention this every week until somebody blows me up in my DMs and is wondering, hey, just make it Thursday already or go back to Wednesday. But I feel like most people just listen like whenever, you know, whenever they want, you know, it's, that's why podcasting is on demand. It's why it's not live. But, uh, yeah, anyway, it's Thursday. Happy Thursday to you. I hope you're having a great, great day. It's crazy because on the, I'm recording this on Wednesday night and on the eve of my trip, there's a storm coming in. The rain is falling and in 24 hours from now, I'll be on a plane headed to Las Vegas. I sure hope the weather's clear tomorrow. That I do hope. And I'm going back to Las Vegas to see my father again. Really excited for that. We got to spend some time back in December where I surprised him. And this time I told him I was coming. <laughs> and this time I'm bringing the wife so she will get to meet him. And this is going to be really a lot of fun Memorial Day weekend in Las Vegas should be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to it. Got me thinking about the last time I was in Las Vegas. Larry and I, Gary and Larry's Edible Adventures, surprising my father, but also making what I believe was six videos in Las Vegas. There would have been seven, but we tried to film on the plane and that didn't quite work the way we thought it was going to work. So we had to call an audible on that and just ditch that video. And I'm going back and I'm going to try to make you know a couple more videos. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, why would you make a video without Larry? Well, the answer is very simple, in fact, and that is that now Larry and I, in addition to doing our videos on Monday together, we have decided that. You know, we want to do more. There's something to be said for the excitement of filming and editing. Not everybody's made for it. But me, I'm made for it. I love to create. I really have a good time making videos. It's what I love to do. So we decided that. You know, we're going to make our best attempt every week to provide two bonus videos, one from him and one from me. And I think it'll just add a little something else, you know, a little something more. It certainly throws, you know, a few more videos out there in the wild so that, you know, if people are searching for certain things, if that's the video they're searching for, it'll come up or, you know, people will just find the video on a whim because that happens too. And then you have a situation where now you have new people listening and discovering you a little bit faster than you would. If you know, you were just doing one video in a week and no, it's not about, you know, blowing up real quick. It's not about trying to grow overnight because we've been doing this now for almost a year. We're as patient as can be, but we just enjoy the art of creating videos. And I, I, I'm, I'm a bit nostalgic for the video we did at Del Taco of all places. This was actually a podcast topic I was going to bring up before. And I, (laughs) I never got to it, but we had a video on TikTok of me eating a tamale the wrong way with the husk on it that amassed 270,000 views over 10 to 12,000 comments and probably a similar amount of likes. And people just got so angry. You know, they, they just, they just got so angry about this. And it was so funny because the more they were commenting the more they were interacting with it, the more that TikTok was pushing it out to people. And every day there'd be the, there would be, 
every day there would be these huge spikes go up and up and up. And it was crazy. We couldn't believe it. I mean, we got like over 400 subs from this one video. And it really puts things in perspective when you think about it, because you're like, we just made this video for fun. We didn't make it thinking that it was going to get 270,000 views. No way. And if anything, if anything, like from an analytical perspective, if you're somebody that likes to you know, look at numbers, I would have looked at all the videos we made and I would have said, well, maybe the in and out secret menu or maybe Giordano's that big cheese pull on the Chicago style that we did. Maybe that's the one that gets them dead wrong. In fact, that Giordano's video didn't do shit on TikTok. We did this epic cheese pull. Nothing happened. Nothing. And that's fine. That's it's not a problem because we weren't going into it thinking how many clicks is this going to get? You see, as a creator, you just put your best foot forward and it doesn't matter if you get one view or 1 million views. The fact is, is that you're doing it because your head is in the game. Your head is focused on the true end goal, which is creation. That's the goal. It's about creation. The love of creation, the art of creation. And so on the eve of my return to Sin City, Las Vegas, I'm nostalgic for that love of creation. I'm feeling it. And I don't know what I'm going to come back with. I told myself, try to just make two videos. Like, don't try to make, you know, six videos like we made in, what, four or five days. I'm not going to do that. Or at least I don't think I'm going to do that. That's not the intention. The intention is to try to get, like, maybe two videos out of it. And if I get four, cool. But I just want to get something out of it and enjoy my trip. Because the problem with me... And fellow creator, fellow creators out there, please chime in. Tell me if you deal with this as well, where maybe you're somebody like me, you work a full-time job. Creating is not your full-time job. You wish it was your full-time job, but it's not your full-time job. And then you get vacation time and all you can do is think about creating. Wow. I have a whole week off. I don't have to worry about anything else but living in the moment and having fun, doing the things that make me happy. Well, my friends, creation is what makes me happy. And so when I go on vacation, I almost pretend like it's my full-time job. Like for that next week, that's my full-time job. And I just have so much fun creating, creating, creating. I live for that shit. And that's how I know that this time is going to be different from all the other times. The years past where started something fizzled out, started something new fizzled out. This ain't fizzling out. This right here is what I'm doing. And I'm seeing this thing all the way through. That's it. That's the whole purpose is to see this thing all the way through. I'll leave you with this. I encourage you to find that thing that truly makes you happy. Think about it. Think deep down about that thing that makes you happy. And it doesn't have to be a creative thing, like, you know, a creator, like a video, you know, podcast or YouTube or whatever. But think about it. Ask yourself this, like what you're doing in life. Are you really happy at what you're doing or with what you're doing? Whatever. English is hard. Um, <laughs> think about it. Are you happy? 
And if you answer no, you need to think long and hard. You need to go figure out how to find that happiness. Go get that shit. Go get it.